Craigslist can be a great place to find off-market motivated sellers who are looking for cash buyer investors. The problem is in some markets, there are dozens and even hundreds of posts being posted daily in the real estate section, and many of them are not motivated sellers. So weeding through all of the posts looking for motivated sellers can be challenging and time consuming. So on this video, I'm gonna show you how I solve that problem. I'm gonna share with you a free software that instantly finds cheap houses on Craigslist. Hi, it's Jerry Norton, and in today's market, investors who are able to find off-market leads are the ones who are winning and making money. And if you're not using Craigslist as a lead gen source, you're probably missing out on deals. Now, if you know me, I'm all about using technology to organize and automate and streamline as much as possible. And since there are so many posts on Craigslist that are not distressed private sellers, I decided to invest thousands of dollars with my software development team to create a software tool using specific keywords to find all of the motivated sellers instantly. But it also does so much more than that. You see, nothing's worse than having a lot of unorganized data. I mean, getting good Craigslist motivated seller leads is one thing, but being able to organize and track the leads, favorite the ones you like, and delete the ones you're no longer pursuing, keeping track of who you've contacted and the conversations, the organization of lead management is what allows you to be more effective and outsource and scale your business. So let me do a demo of how my Craigslist deal finder software works, and be sure to stay to the end of this video because I'm gonna show you how to get it for free. But look, if we've never met, I'm Jerry Norton, and this channel is dedicated to helping you make money right now in real estate. Not later, not in 10 or 20 years, or even three or five years, but right now so that you can achieve true financial freedom and live your dream life. Consider subscribing to my channel, click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. Okay, so once logged in, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is click add new campaign right here. So you click add new campaign. And then what this is gonna do is it's gonna ask you to set up a campaign. Now, first thing you do is click your state where you do deals. So let's go down here and pick Michigan. I'm gonna pick Detroit Metro. And then I'm gonna go ahead and name it based on my Craigslist. So I'm gonna put MI for Michigan, Detroit Metro. And that's what I name it. I always name it whatever I set up as my campaign. Now this drop down, these are all of the Craigslist markets in Craigslist. So you have to select one of these that's most pertinent to your market where you do deals. Now you can set up a zip code. You can put a distance within that zip code. So for now, I'm just gonna leave that out. I'm gonna click create, and then it's gonna open up the list under that campaign. So here's my 381 posts that it found that matched my keyword criteria. Here's the title post, or the post title. Here's some information, price, bedroom, square foot. It will only put something in here if the person who did the post added that in there, right? It can only scrape what somebody puts in there. And then uh, when it was posted, and then here's some management tools here. Now you'll see these three hearts. The blue heart is add the favorite cash buyer. So if it's a cash buyer lead, you can save it and under the cash buyer lead. Red is motivated sellers. So you can put add to favorite motivated sellers. And green is wholesalers. So you can save it to your wholesaler favorites. This one is a notes where we take notes. This one is a reply to the ad. And this is if you want to delete it, if you're, if you're not interested in it and you want to get it out of your campaign, then you can delete it and this just opens up the link to the page or you can just click on the property or the title. Um, so for example here, I could click on this one, house for sale. There's pictures in here. And what's cool here is let's see, it says, hello, I'm selling my house. I bought it last year and haven't had the time to fix it up and get it running. It's a two bedroom. So this would be a motivated seller. It says right in here, I'm a, I bought a house, I haven't had time to fix it up, now I'm selling it, okay? And so it's screaming private seller on this one. So you can see it opened up another window here. So I'm gonna go back to Craigslist. I'm gonna save this under my motivated seller favorites because I wanna pursue this one now. And it's um, I, I hearted it and it filled it in red. That shows me that I saved it there. And now I'm gonna go here to the reply to the ad. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me my script here. A later version of this we're working on will automatically do this. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the motivated seller post reply script. Got different ones for different things. And then I'm gonna hit Command C, because I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it would be Control C. Then I'm gonna close this. And then I'm gonna go back to that post. I'm gonna click the reply button. I'm gonna click on the reply there. I'm gonna post, I'm gonna uh, hit 
Command V, as in Victor, or on a PC it would be Control V, that pastes it in. So this is my initial inquiry email. Now once I send it, I'm gonna quickly forget who, who and when and where I replied, right? So I'm gonna go back to my system, and then I'm gonna go to the notes, and I'm gonna type in here, I'm gonna put sent initial inquiry email. Now I know what that means, it means I sent my start, start the conversation email. And then I'm gonna click submit, and then it's gonna date stamp it. So it automatically does that. Now it's gonna track everything I do. So if I go back into here and I click on my note section, there's that note I made myself that on the 29th, I sent initial inquiry email. Now when he replies back, I'll come back in here and I would say uh, seller, blah, 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 whatever notes I have and then I'll hit submit. And then you can see it added that to my date stamp. Now I'm tracking my history here. I'm keeping track of everything that happens because otherwise I'll quickly lose track of everything I'm doing. So it's really important that you stay on top of your management, right? And keep things organized. So here's that deal right there. I, I favorited that one. What you do is you go through each of these, you delete the ones you're not interested in, you favorite the ones you are interested in, favorite them accordingly, either cash buyer, motivated seller, or wholesaler. Uh, reply to the post, start the conversation. We're in the gather information mode, right? Save it into your notes, and then continue on. That's how we manage these, right? That's how we find these leads. Now, once we get the information we need, you know, an address and, and pictures or a description of it or whatever, then we move into the securing the deal, the analyzing part and so on. But for now, I just wanna make sure you understand how we move through the software. And that's it. Now, if you'd like a free login to my Craigslist Deal Finder software, I'll include a link where you can sign up to get it. Now, it's not a trial or anything. It's an unlimited free account. So click the link in the description to get that right now. And I put together my years of trial and error and learning how to profit from Craigslist into a done-for-you system called Craigslist Flipper. And I recently did a detailed training where I show you how to find and flip houses right on Craigslist and earn five to $20,000 per month. So click the video on the screen to watch that right now. Now it's a little over an hour and it's jam-packed so I know you'll love it. Watch that now and I'll see you on the next video.